Hi there, this is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com, here with a video that I'm sure is going to cause a lot of controversy, and but I thought I, I, I have to address this as, you know, I am quite a critical person of Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering. I think that being critical actually makes the game a lot better, so I hope that a lot of other people can identify these flaws with me as well, and really hope this gets back to Wizards and their design team about their incredible failure of Modern Masters 2. And I'm going to give you my top five reasons, the top five fails of Modern Masters 2, and why I think that Modern Masters 2 is just a, cra a cash grab and is going to be a god-awful limited format. Now, I, there's some, some sites that allow you, I'm not going to put them up on the channel because I know Wizards kind of hates these sites and, and you know, they shut them down the past, so I don't want to cause any sort of focus on those especially but you can do some mock sealed and I was just messing around with mock sealed and just looking at my pools and trying to build a sealed deck out of my pools really opened up the flaws of the Modern Masters 2 and why I now am going to go out on a limb and say this may be the worst set printed of all time of at least in the modern era it might be the worst set ever printed I mean Dragon's Maze is looking better than Modern Masters 2. It's that bad of a set. Now, value-wise, it's a great set. It's got a lot of expensive cards in it, so they did a good job of reprinting just valuable cards, but if they expect us to do a limited format with this, it's going to be absolutely terrible. Now, this is such a... This is heartbreaking to me because Modern Masters 1 was amazing. I absolutely loved Modern Masters 1. There were so many different strategies you could do, and the entire set seemed to have a lot of synergy. This one, however... Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is bad. So let's just, without further ado, let's just start off with the top five fails of Modern Masters 2. Number five, Metalcraft without Signal Pest, Memnite, or Vault Scourge, or any other really one or two drop, no Arcbound Ravager. Nothing to really support. Hey, we got Indomitable Archangel. Yay. Um, but. You really needed the, what made the Scars of Mirrodin block so good with Metalcraft was that early swarm. No Steel Overseer, in fact. So we have a bunch of just garbage equipments. We have like, uh, some are okay. The Dark Steel Axe is okay. The Cranial Plating is okay. Cranial Plating is actually really good. Uh, the Blink Moth Nexus is good. But you do not have just those those one drops. You have cards like Etch Monstrosity and Etch Champion that come out a little bit later and really need a lot of the earlier stuff to come down to get that metal craft. And Vault Scourge was such a pivotal piece, so was Memnite, and so was Signal Pest, and that whole feel of metal craft. And we had none of them. None of them. Another card that was Raise the Alarms. Why the hell Raise the Alarms over the, the, mana, the white mana spell that put in Mirror Tokens? Raise the Alarms was just printed in Modern Masters 15. Why the hell was it printed in Modern Master or in, in M15? Why the hell was it printed in Modern Masters 2. Does not make any sense. This could have been Miri. I'll have to figure out the card of, I'll put it up here, of the white mana spell that puts in 1 1 mirrors. Number four, Iona and the Eldrazi. Where's the ramp? Um, you expecting us to carry lands as pseudo ramp? I mean, and Karu lands aren't really ramped. They still set you back in a land. We have no Tron lands. We have no Cultivate. We have no uh, Landfall. There's a lot in the good old Drazi ways. There was like the expeditions and, and things that could actually get you out lands a lot sooner. Now we have Primeval Titan who wants to be ramped into, which I guess can ramp into an Eldrazi later on, but he's a mythic. And he's six mana. And so, yay. We have a bunch of Eldrazi. We have Yona. We have a bunch of other high converted mana cost stuff. Like Elish Norn. And we got, like, literally no ramp. Everflowing Chalice does not count. It is not good enough to get us there. Wow. Terrible, terrible design flaw. They really want us to play with that, that Eldrazi and the Yona. Uh, good luck. Good luck. Good luck getting those guys out in a format that supports zero ramp. Number three. I find the lack of walkers disturbing. Last Modern Masters, there's plenty of walkers. Where's like at least like a Jace Bellerin 
Tezzeret the Seeker? Where is some cards like Koth, Koth the Hammer? Where is Venser? Where is, I mean, even El Elspeth was, a lot of them were reprinted in the last Modern Madness. We saw plenty of, plenty of walkers. This one has a whopping Tezzeret the Seeker. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And you have, it's just, just not enough walkers. You have Karn and, and Tezzeret. They easily could have used a lot of their mythic slots for some more walkers. Um, yeah, just no excuse. No excuse whatsoever. No Tezzeret Agent of Bolas either, which would have worked very well with the Metalcraft. Uh, and Tezzeret's fine, but the other blue Tezzeret's fine. But would have had would have loved to see Tezzeret Agent of Bolas as well in that list. Number two. The absolute fail of missed uncommons. People have been talking about Serum Visions, Serum Visions, Serum Visions. What about Might of Old, Old Crosa? What about Curse Catcher? What about even Mind Sensor? What about the Tron Lands? Just a ton, a ton of cards in the uncommon. You'll have to check out my video of uncommons and commons, top 10 uncommons and commons I'll be producing of missed uncommons. We saw Modern Master 1 do a very good job of hitting most of the commons and uncommons that needed reprints. This set was an absolute failure in doing so. So it, it saw some reprints from Modern Masters 1 that we need to reprint it again, like Vendillion Click, like Goif, like Cryptic Command, like Bob, but it it lacked very, very bad in hitting some of the uncommons that absolutely desperately needed some reprints. And the number one, which is the biggest black eye, which is the stupidity of all stupidity when looking at a design set, and really just makes me think that this is just a money grab and was not meant to even have much enjoyability as far as limited strategy, is Day Break Coronet. Are you kidding me, Wizards? You didn't give us an Inara out of white or even out of green? That we can actually enchant something so we can daybreak coronet we literally have to this is the scenario that has to happen in white you have to arrest your own dude and then enchant it with daybreak coronet and then call me of ancient law or or i think there's like a, a a grass some other destroy target enchantment to destroy the arrest and then you have your poor guy with a daybreak coronet that had to use three cards to enchant it absolutely ridiculous the only other enchantments out of red that gives plus two plus two in haste your only hope in a limited pool is to pull pull enough of those to actually make your daybreak coronet viable we'd also not get any hexproof cards which is what daybreak coronet wants to be on or indestructible cards and absolute failure they talked about how they didn't reprint serum visions because they didn't feel like it really fit in the set Please, 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 wizards, justify Daybreak Coronet then. Justify somehow, some way, the Daybreak Coronet needs to be in this set. It is a dead card. You draft it, it is dead. You're just drafting it for money. You pull it in a limited pool, it's just there for money. You are not going to be playing it in your 40 cards. There's no way, no how, it is not supported. This was an absolute failure of a failure. I give this a 1 out of five stars this is a terrible 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 set design is just i could go on to even higher lists of of, of the of, of what they've done to this oh man no no tron lands with karn what no no tron lands with eldrazi i'm just beside myself it's just expedition map was printed in this no tron lands let me know your top five lists of fails in mm2 if you agree with me or disagree I know this is going to get a lot of controversy, but that needs to happen. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.